All right, Brandy, this is uh, this is the first time I have to say this. This might be the first time in my life I've ever been starstruck by a nine year old. This is a uh, big, big thing for <laughs> it's me. It's huge. It's big for him, big for our area. I'm a huge fan of MasterChef and I'm an even bigger fan of MasterChef Junior. And we right here in the Hudson Valley have a contestant on this season. Chad, welcome to the show. Thank you. Man, you are uh, you're quite the impressive cook. I have so many different questions about MasterChef for you. I hope that you've got uh, all of my answers. You ready? Okay. All right. Uh, how did you get, you know, how did people find out that you were such a good cook? How do you end up on MasterChef Junior? Uh, yes. Well, my mom, she, she was, I think she was watching a commercial or something, and then I guess she was fixing the bed, and then she turned around, and then she saw it was kids. Oh. And so she knows I like to cook, and so she, there was an audition for it, and I auditioned for it, and I got on. What'd they make you do in the audition? Cook an egg. Just just cook an egg? Yeah. Wow. Did they scrambled, fried? What the, how did anyway. you do it? Anyway, just make it? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Which way did you go with? I made egg whites. Oh, ho, you got fancy. Some people would just go, oh, I'm just going to make a scrambled egg, or I'm going to give you a sunny side up. You decided to go all healthy on them. Yeah, that's what everyone did. Uh, scrambled eggs. <laughs> that's it. See, you separated right away. That makes you different from everybody else, right? Yeah. Now, does your mom make you cook all the time now that you're a big-time uh, celebrity chef? No. No? Not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, I, I'm always curious. I'm always interested in how somebody as young as yourself is able to find out how much they love cooking. How did it all start for you? Um, it started back when I was three, and um, I would go to restaurants, and I'd eat the food, and I'd say, oh, yeah, I want to cook this. And so uh, my dad and my grandmother, they helped me start um, cooking and I just took off from there. You just fell in love with it. Yeah. Brandy, three years of age. Uh, yeah. I don't remember three years of age. I think I, don't know I what might I was have doing. made an egg at like six or seven, but yeah. that was like a lot. It wasn't to get in front of Gordon Ramsay. No, that's for no, sure. no, no, no. It was probably to make something after I got home from school. Has Gordon Ramsay been very nice to you? Do you yes. like him? Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah. Is he your favorite one of the? Who's your favorite judge on the show? Graham. Yeah. He's fun. He seems like a fun guy to be around. Yeah, he is. He seems exciting. That's good. I, I'm really, man, this is so. I'm, I just want to know does Gordon Ramsay say all those bad words around the kids? <laughs> no. Oh, that's good. Because then, then I would have to not like him. Right. No, that's not good at all. Do you ever get out of, uh, you know, like because of shooting the show, do they ever let you out of school? Do you ever get to go because your shooting schedule uh, for the TV show has gotten you out? Yes. Yeah? It's even better than being on TV, Brandy. You know, <laughs> I know. Just getting out of school is the cool part. That's awesome. Now, what is your absolute favorite thing in the world to cook? Country hash. Oh, really? Oh, that sounds good. See, I'm. He's full of surprises. First, he's he's like, now I'm not making scrambled eggs. I'm gonna make egg whites. Now this, I, I mean, that's that's awesome. What is the secret to your recipe? Or can you not tell me that? It's not a secret. Oh, it's not. A, okay. <laughs> How do I make your uh, your favorite dish? If you were coming over to my house and I wanted to impress you, what would I do to make it? Well, you would dice potatoes, and well. Every dice except for a large dice. Okay. Or a medium dice. Mm-hmm. So, and then you get bacon and or sausage and peppers and green onions. And then cook them up? Yeah, put them in a saute pan with butter. Oh, see the butter. Mm, Brandon, that's yeah. always the secret is the butter. you got to get the crispy edges on the potatoes, yeah. right? What's the hardest thing that you've uh, had to cook? Like, what, what's the thing that you don't like cooking the most? Because I know in the past I've seen episodes of Master Chef Junior and they uh, they've made him do sushi and they've made him do all sorts of things they've never done before and they've always uh, people have always kind of said I don't like that one I'd prefer to do you know something that I'm I'm better at. I don't really like cooking um, pork chops. Oh, that's your that's your least favorite thing is cooking pork chops. Mm-hmm. What about it? Don't you like? The thickness. They take so long to cook. Mm, and then you never know if it's done on the inside or not, mm-hmm. right? And they're hard to cut. Mm-hmm. They are. I, I understand. Now, where do you want to go with this? Do you want to own your own restaurant one day? Yes. Yeah? That's the goal? Yeah. Do you want to, uh, what kind of restaurant would you open? Um, mixed, uh, mixed, what was called, what's the word? Um, yeah, mixed cuisine. Like a fusion restaurant or something yeah. like that? What kind of styles would they be? What, what would your best dish, would it be your country hash? Would that be your number one dish on the menu? Yes, probably. That would be the signature? Mm-hmm. How about TV? You want to be a TV cook? You want to be on uh, television teaching other people how to cook? Yes. Yeah? All right. Well, hopefully 
you become Master Chef Junior, and then hopefully soon thereafter you'll have your own restaurant, and then you'll be all over TV selling cookbooks, things like that. Yeah. Congratulations on all your success so far, and hopefully we'll see you all over TV, and one day I'll be able to get to your restaurant and try your country hash. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time, Jen. You're welcome.